Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another segment of Community Lens. And we have with us in our studio today Lauren Drago from the City of Somerville Economic Development Office. Thank you for joining us to discuss a little bit more about so much that's going on <laughs> around us. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Um, so I've been working here for the last six years, and I think even before six years ago, it has been in conversation about the green line is coming. Mm -hmm. The green line is coming. This has been a like point of conversation. And then I think at one point everyone's like, no, it's not. <laughs> but it is. It yes, is, right? it is. Yes, this has been decades in the making at this point. A lot of people have been working really hard on it. And it's going to be so great when it happens. But we're getting into that <laughs> three-year period where there's going to be a lot of construction and people are really going to start feeling the day-to-day -day inconvenience of sure. this project that's going to make our lives so much better here. Sure. Yeah, and I think um, the, the daunting sign that says 2021, <laughs> and I remember seeing that and being like, oh, yeah. And even Union Square, this is one of the points that's going to be developed. Mm -hmm. um, and we already have been seeing construction and stuff. And I think um, there's a lot to be said about the due diligence and, um, you know, uh, participation of the city obviously trying to increase the visibility of the local businesses because mm -hmm. um, we want to make sure that they continue to thrive and succeed um, throughout all this construction period so Absolutely. that is the point of why you are on the segment yes. today um, <laughs> so one of the squares um, that is um, a focus is ball square mm -hmm. and the city um, is organizing an event called a Ball for Squares. Mm -hmm. um, so for folks who don't know about that, do you want to talk a little bit more about that initiative and, and why the need for this event? Sure. So essentially the Green Line Extension is going to have two different branches. One will be ending here in Union Square, just sort of over my shoulder. Um, and then the other will be extending through a lot of the different squares in Somerville, including Ball Square, um, eventually towards Medford and Tufts. Um, and unfortunately, in Ball Square in particular, there's the Broadway Bridge, which is a key artery for a lot of commuters, people who are coming through Somerville, people who live around that area. And that bridge will need to be closed down for approximately a year. Mm -hmm. um, at the moment, it looks like that will start in January of 2019. Um, and that is a, an absolutely necessary part of the process to make space for the Green Line, which will be installed right next to the commuter rail tra tracks that already exist. Mm -hmm. um, but unfortunately, it's going to be really frustrating for a lot of the folks that live through there, that come through there. And as you mentioned, in particular, the businesses. Mm -hmm. We've got a great commercial district in Ball Square of these businesses that have been around for decades in some cases. Um, and we want to make sure that we are supporting them before the construction, during the construction, and afterwards when the, the green line is finally here. Absolutely. So to that end, we are throwing a ball for squares mm -hmm. on September 30th. Um, it'll be from 12 to 5, so a great opportunity to go get brunch in the square, one of the many brunch places, mm -hmm. and then just stay. We're going to have bands, we're going to have a beer garden, the restaurants will all be participating, plenty of activities for kids and adults. Uh, it'll be a great, great classic Somerville festival, um, and we really think it'll be a great opportunity to show our support for the Somerville businesses before this uh, bridge closure begins and the, the real work starts. That's awesome. Well, I mean, thank you so much for, for working on um, the event itself, but also the awareness of it. I think the um, City of Somerville does a great job at being transparent and trying to get out as much information as possible. Um, we try to assist in that as much as possible. Um, Eat, drink, and be merry to celebrate Ball Square. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you, you can't go wrong with that. Um, obviously, there's, oh, you know, like you said, this is going to be a year or so of, you know, frustration. Um, let's try to focus on the outcomes, right, mm -hmm. of the positive, like what's to gain um, following this um, construction and madness. Um, what are some other ways that folks can, um, in addition to coming to this event and celebrate Ball Square for all that it is and what it will also continue to be, um, what are other ways that people can support local? Is there an initiative uh, that the city is working on to, to do such that? Absolutely. So we are going to be launching a campaign called Loyal to Local. Um, it'll be a combination of the logos and the branding that we incorporate, making sure that we're using um, tools like uh, the Somerville Media Center and other media outlets uh, to continue to remind people that 
they should be supporting their local businesses, particularly those affected by construction. I mean, we're very lucky to live in this community where so many people value spending locally, um, going to the community institutions. I mean, I know I don't have to tell you if you're talking about why you love Somerville, it's pretty <laughs> quick when you know it turns into the bar that you meet your friends at, mm -hmm. or the cafe that you have your dates at, or the place where you that you get brunch. love. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> So the businesses are such an important fabric of who we are as a community and we're really going to be driving home that point of not only should you be shopping locally like you already do here in Somerville, but you should be seeking out the businesses that particularly need your support. And right now that includes Ball Square, it includes the other squares in, around the Green Line extension, it includes Union Square which is also going through a sewer separation project right now. Um, we're asking folks to really make the commitment that even if it's a little dusty or a little loud or a little complicated to get to, that you make that extra commitment to support those businesses because they really, really need it during these complicated times. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, and if there's any place for people to find more information about all of this um, as a landing page, I'm sure that it goes into much more ex exhaustive <laughs> uh, depth. Mm -hmm. What would that look like? <laughs> yeah, we're very good at exhaustive information <laughs> of the city. Um, if you go to SomervilleMA.gov slash construction, you can find out information about all of the different construction projects in Somerville. There's also a great regular newsletter that we've been working really hard to improve that's going to include all of the different detours and construction updates that you would need to know. Um, you'll continue to get updates if you sign up for city alerts through your text messages or your emails, your phones, or what have you. Mm -hmm. um, so those are all great ways to stay up to speed on just the day-to-day -day headaches yeah. of what the detours are, but also what we're talking about with our local businesses and how to get out there and support them. Awesome. And as a human-to-human -human contact, would you be a point person for people to share their excitement and potential questions? <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> yes. I am happy to accept any emails or calls from people who have questions, whether it's about the Green Line more broadly or whether about it's about our businesses specifically. Um, it's also great to hear from people on social media to use the hashtag loyal to local. Mm -hmm. um, that's a great way to remind your businesses that they uh, can count on your support, that folks are, are thinking about them and are really keeping them at the, the center of this conversation. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for this um, important mm -hmm. brief update. And uh, again, September 30th. Um, mm -hmm. The time again. 12 to 5 p.m. 12 to 5 p.m. Come out and celebrate. Um, this is a long haul, and you know, more we are in this together, the better hopefully our spirits will be. <laughs> um, and all the information is on the screen. And thank you again for coming in and for, for sharing all this. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>